Hello guys and ghouls out there. I hope you're all having a spooky Halloween season so far. I thought that I would commemorate this wonderful season by doing videos each week of Halloween themed characters or Disney villains. So this week I thought I would start off with my Halloween Funko Pop collection with the Sanderson sisters. And then since this month is full of tricks, I thought I would sneak a another fandom into this video and look at my Beetlejuice Funko collection. I do usually only do Disney content, but I love me some Beetlejuice, so I thought I would sneak it in with this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the Sanderson sisters and we'll look at Sarah. And they're all flying on, Winifred has a broom, Sarah has a mop, Mary has a vacuum cleaner. They all have this big plastic base that holds them up to give them the appearance of flying. The bases are very sturdy, they stand well on soft and hard surfaces, no issue. And these came out in September, so they're brand new. I think they're great quality, there's a lot of different versions of the Sanderson sisters in the Funko Pop collection, but I really like this one just because I like the fact that they're all flying and their capes are blowing in the wind. I thought it was really fun. Um, but Sarah's got the really dark gray makeup around her eyes, just like the movie. She's got the beauty mark and then the blonde hair parted on the side and a little braid. And she's got the layered dress with the pink, red, yellow, and witch shoes, the little heel. And she does have rings on her fingers. And this beautiful purple cape, hooded cape that she's wearing. And then you can see she's on a mop. And I love the little detail of her being on a mop and Mary being on a vacuum cleaner, just like in the movie where their brooms get stolen by some trick or treaters. So they go to the nearest broom closet and Sarah gets stuck with the mop, but poor Mary gets stuck with a vacuum cleaner. So I just, I love this little movie moment that Funko has created. And then here's Mary. And she's got the purple highlights in her hair, um, a burnt orange color around her eyes. She too has a beauty mark. And then her fabulous layered dress with the burnt orange, like the pumpkin orange, purple, black and white checks, pink, and then she's got those high laced up boots, just like the movie. And then she's wearing a red hooded cape and she's on a vacuum and cord and all. And I love this little detail. And that is Mary. And now the queen of Halloween, Miss Winifred Sanderson. And she's got orange around the eyes, rosy cheeks. And I love that they gave her a mouth. Funko doesn't usually draw in mouths. Although I am looking at my Beetlejuice collection and they all have mouths, but typically um, Funko doesn't put mouths on them. But I love that they included hers because hers is so iconic. She's got those red pouted lips, the big buck teeth. So this just really adds to her character. And of course the iconic red curly textured hair. I think this did it justice. And then she's got little light eyebrows that kind of give her like a scowled facial expression. And then little earrings. And I love her dress. I love the purple, green layers, and the pink and gold. 
and then her shoes are the classic witch shoes that you see in Halloween decorations with the little kind of the elf point at the end which I actually never noticed in the movie and then her hands are they look like claws it looks like she has some rings on as well but her hands look outreached like she wants to grab Danny from the movie. And then she's got this really pretty emerald hooded cape and then hers has a little bit of texture on the back. And then she has the classic broom. I love how she grabs the broom and she <laughs> leaves her sisters with the mop and the vacuum. But that is a Winnie. And I thought I would include my Hocus Pocus candle. I saw this on another YouTuber's video. And these candles are from Witchy Wicks. Um, this lady makes a lot of good Halloween candles. And I love candles, so I thought I would hop onto her website and buy some. And I got this Hocus Pocus one. It's got the little design of the sister's hair. And it says, smells like witch's brew the fat of a hanged man and a virgin's. And the outside is black glitter. But the inside of the candle is, well, the top layer is actually white. But this candle is a little fun. It came with this tag. It says, light this candle and you will see just which sister you are meant to be. So if it's green, you're Winifred. If it's red, you're Sarah. If it's purple, you're Mary. And it's got like a little description for each sister. Um, I haven't lit it, but you can see that it's got a red tint. So I think I'm meant to be Sarah, which is so fitting because that is my name. So I thought that it was great that I got red. And that candle kind of smells, to me at least, a little bit woodsy or piney. So let's go ahead and look at my Beetlejuice clan. And we'll start with Barbara. So Barbara and her husband Adam right there in the checkered shirt. Um, they are the ghosts in the movie. They die in the beginning of the movie. They come back as ghosts and they can't leave the house or else that black and white worm will get them. <laughs> but um, this is the scene where they're trying to make a scary face to scare Lydia and the, her parents out of the house. And I just love this detail. I just look at all these teeth, her gums, and I love the little Funko eyeballs, her tongue is great. It's all textured and bumpy. I love how they got the lines and the yeah, the lines and wrinkles around her face and she's like stretching out her skin and her little eye sockets on top. And I love the contrast of that whole scary scene with the really cute floral printed dress and the pink flat And then she's just got her curly brown hair. And this pop is actually quite heavy. <laughs> it definitely needs a base. But this is Barbara. And let's look at her husband, Adam. He cannot stand on this soft surface. He's totally fine on hard surface, but he didn't come with a base. Um, so I couldn't stand him up properly on this soft surface. I had to lean him against Lydia, but this is his scary face. He stretches out his nose and then he's got his little teeth and tongue, his eye sockets, and he made his eyeballs onto his, he put his eyeballs onto his fingertips. Love that detail. And then he's got his little dad outfit with the checkered flannel shirt, buttoned up with the khakis, belt, and shoes. 
and then you put his little head to a point and like I said just the detail you can see all the lines the stretched out nostril and this is Adam Let me lay him down really quick. And now Lydia. And this Lydia is not a Funko Pop. She's a Funko Rock Candy figurine. Um, the Funko Pops, there's two versions of her in this dress and her black outfit with the camera. They are going for like $100 on eBay and Amazon. I'm not willing to pay that much for a Funko Pop. So I actually found this rock candy version from also from Funko and it was only $10. So I actually think it's better than the Funko Pop. It's bigger, more full of detail, heavier, and I just love it. So I'm not sad that I had to get this version instead, but they did her face justice. She looks like Lydia. She's got the crazy bangs, the crazy hair. The beautiful red dress. I just love the dotted texture, the layering. She's got like the little see-through lace on the chest with the dots, the long red gloves, the red bouquet. I love the ruffled collar. And then she's got red high heels. And she definitely needs the base. And I found her on this um, online shop called Collectors, Collectors Zone, C-O-L-L-E-C-T-O-R-Z-O-W-N, <laughs> Collectors Zone. They're a really cool online shop. You can earn points when you buy things, which um, the points will help reduce the price of items if you want to claim them when you buy something. And I love this veil. It's like a see-through beautiful red veil. I think it's plastic. I'm not sure. Resin. I don't know. But it's beautiful. I love the way that it looks. I just love this entire figurine. And that is Lydia. And now the man of the hour, Beetlejuice. And he doesn't stand on the soft surface, but he has no issues on hard surfaces. Um, I've had him forever. I just decided to add to my collection by getting Barbara, Adam, and Lydia this year, but they have several different versions of him. I kind of want to get him in the um, tuxedo to go with the my bride, Lydia. But he's got the purple makeup around the eyes, all the green mold around his face, the green hair, of course his iconic striped tuxedo or sorry suit and he actually has a mouth he's got that big Beetlejuice grin I love that they included his mouth and that is Beetlejuice um, and let me just show you the Beetlejuice candle this was also from Witchy Wicks I'm a huge Beetlejuice fan, so I had to sneak them into this video and I had to get a candle. Um, I've actually been Beetlejuice and Lydia for Halloween. Uh, this is black and white stripe. And on the inside, it's got green glitter to kind of give a nod to his green mold and green hair. <laughs> And then it says, smells like Deo and the ghost with the most. And it actually kind of smells to me a little bit fruity. That is the Beetlejuice candle. Let me just focus and put them back. Okay. And I did have another candle just to kind of show you really quick. 
another fandom. This is Coraline. Huge fan of Coraline. I don't have any Funkos, but I really want to get the other mother and one of the Coraline Funkos. Anyone, I love her. And it says, smells like rain, mischief, and not Caroline. Because they always call her Caroline instead of Coraline. And it's just blue glitter. And this one kind of smells, I guess, more fresh, more supposed to be like rain. Um, and the I've only lit this one. It does have a good throw. So I think they're really good candles. Um, and there's just a ton of di really different cool ones on the website. So if you love Halloween, I suggest those candles. And it's on Etsy and the shop is Witchy Wicks. But this is my Funko collection for Halloween. I've got my Sanderson sister trio, my Beetlejuice clan, and like I said, um, for the rest of the month, I think I'll be showing Disney villains. So I hope you all tune in and I hope you're having a great month um, and a great day. And thank you all for watching.